So, I just want to start off this one by saying I actually wasn't going to record today, but I just felt like it. I don't know why, really. I just wanted to play more of Monolith. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, last time, we looted that uh, yellow stash, which gave us a whopping medical crafting kit. So that kind of sucked. But what can you do? So we still don't have any tools. We have a bunch of stuff we need to eventually sell, get rid of, that sort of thing. So what we're going to do is talk to our boy right here. As you can see, I already gave him a bunch of stuff. Actually, that might be a problem. I don't know if I can give him any more. That's a problem. He still has this, the AS Val, but, you know, ah, uh, that's going to be the only saving grace when it comes to this guy. This guy is going to be basically the Val guy. So I'm going to start marking some things as favorites real quick. I'm going to mark that as a favorite. That is a favorite. Um. But yeah, I am heavy. Do I have a Hercules? Hercules saved my ass before. I do not think I do. That sucks. I have too much stuff. I have too much stuff and I don't know what to do with it. I don't even know there's a stash. By the way, I walked up the street and saved at this campfire that's the only thing that happened in between last time and this time i do wish i had a chain i keep saying that chain is like one of the best artifacts you can get early game because of the stamina it gives you plus since i have sin followers they'll get the effect of uh the chain as well so I'm trying to think to myself what to do here in terms of my loot situation because I looted this medium armor. Now it's basically a pure upgrade besides the belt slot. The belt slot is uh, not as good as it could be. However, everything else is great. Um, gives me 15% more ballistic resistance, a little bit more BR class, but that 31 31% bonus to rupture is huge against mutants, plus more carry weight. So you know what? Oh, is this smart? I don't know. I'm thinking, what if I put on this armor just to walk back? Because it'll give me enough to be able to, like, move normally. And then, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. Now, to be honest, I do not consider this a smart move. Oh, never mind. I... I basically not even a smart move because it weighs heavier than this meaning it kind of cancels out the bonus uh so it's totally not a smart move that sucks um but i want this armor why um it's a duty disguise that gets me in good with duty loners military ecologists etc etc so i basically need this for now as an entry level disguise so i need to repair it but it's medium armor, meaning I need an advanced kit. So I was hoping to get that here. As you can see, I didn't. So we're just going to take it slow. And I'm going to basically just use this time to talk. Kind of just chat a little bit. Not do too much anything crazy. So yeah, uh, like I was saying earlier, I actually didn't plan on recording today. I was thinking about it but then i thought to myself man i'm having so much fun with this monolith run i don't think i want to just not i want to play it like you know i want to want to play it so long story short uh that's what i'm doing and uh i am still a little worried because you know i have died plenty of times in other playthroughs from other things from things i really thought i'd survive etc so two lives that that's a that's a big deal I'm doing good, but one thing you have to remember, especially in a game like this. Oh, that's bad. I think I'll be able to make it there by walking. Maybe not. Uh. They're fighting something, too? Oh, that's bad. I have to... No, 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 no. Okay, it's fine. I actually will not die by the emission right away. 
not how missions work in this game. So it's fine. Okay. But there's some mercs over here. So this is going to be an interesting encounter, to say the least. Uh, buddy, can you ignore combat and just come with me, please, so you can not die? Oh, I can't do this. Well, what about this little corner that I can kind of... It's too intense! I'll wait. Okay, one person's dead. Oh, they're all dying in there. From the emission. Oh, what about my follower, though? I don't want him to die. Come on, buddy. Uh, that's a problem. If this guy dies, I'm in trouble. I don't actually have a... Uh... Well, actually, there's a stash upstairs. So, spoiler, Monolith, at playing as Monolith, you don't get a freebie when it comes to emissions. At least... That's what it was when I played before. Okay, that my sin member is fine over there. He's doing fine. Well, that was interesting. That was interesting. Yeah, you don't get the, a pass with emissions. At least, again, that's what... Uh, yeah, okay, I'm trying to go around you, to be fair. Fuck off, man. Can you move... Oh, classic Gamma. Alright. Well, I mean Anomaly, too. Just classic nonsense that happens. So, I get some free Merc bodies over there to loot. Can, can you just calm down the steps? Thank you. I need to put some stuff away in the stash up here. Alright, what do I put away? Definitely the repair kit. I'm never going to use that, at least for a while. Um, a bunch of this ammo that I don't need at the moment. Pretty much all of it, besides the shotgun ammo. A um, bunch of this food, this guitar, these files. This stuff. A couple grenades, because grenades actually weigh quite a lot. Still weighing pretty decently, unfortunately. I mean, it's like a suffering from success moment, right? You, uh, you have too much stuff, basically. Put all this stuff away for now. Let's put this stuff here. Take the cloth because I have medical crafting kit now. All right. Now I'm more or less fine to be walking around. I'm gonna check out that, uh the bunker over here. Alright, well this guy's back, so I think all the mercs in here might be dead. I, uh... My, my buddy is... Yep, they are. Ooh, Spas 12! See, I actually would be more excited if, um... <laughs> I didn't have a raptor already. But, there's something interesting about the Spas 12. What's that? Look at that. Be repair kit. Spas 12 is one of the best shotguns you can get, for the most part. Especially after at a B repair kit, it's perfect. Okay, so this um, Merc armor isn't actually as good as my uh, uh, duty armor I got, but the catch is that um, it will give me a Merc disguise. Because, you know, duty, freedom, and Mercs hate duty. But freedom and mercs are good with mercs obviously so having two disguises is actually really good however until we get advanced tools those disguises are worthless right now because disguises work on the quality of your uh, armor so let's put these away for now 
I, okay, I do want to take the suppressors because I want to sell them. Because they sell for an okay amount of money. Um, Take the good weapon parts. Okay. Just scanning, making sure I have everything I want right now. Four grenades are fine, I think. Alright, so I'm gonna go... So, sometimes your followers will get stuck like this. One of the most annoying parts about Gamma, actually, is how... Your followers literally just kind of loiter and don't do anything interesting. Not interesting, but they kind of just get stuck, is what I'm trying to say. See? Like, even if I say, hey, wait here, alright, follow me, you know, fire at will, do anything. I mean, maybe if I loot corpses, no, he won't move. So, easy way to fix this is to, um... In my opinion, just quick save and quick load, and he will, uh, what's it called? He'll, he'll fix himself. Uh, there does exist something in this game called a daddy save. What it basically is, it, it just lets you quick save anywhere you want. It's on a timer and you need a token to use it. I think I am going to use them specifically just to unstick AI. I think that's fine. The way I see it, my autosave was over there, and a mission happened, that's the only thing that happened. It's not like I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna fix my AI while, like, you know, surviving a crazy encounter, like... it's the way I see it. Darkstalker shoot a boar, so those are sin members over there. Okay, put this armor away. Alright. This stash is looking nice. I'm gonna remember this stash. Red forest! Oh my, hey, he fixed himself! I don't know what happened, but he fixed himself. That's great. Actually, I never ch Oh, well, it didn't have a functional barrel. That doesn't matter. Well, what part? Did it have a, a pump and a bolt? I'm actually going to check real quick. Spas 12 is a semi-automatic shotgun, so I don't think it'll have a pump for me, but regardless. Let's see. Okay, well, what does this use? R in guard. A slightly better it's not mm, is it even worth it I mean I guess it's better than nothing right it is better than literally absolutely nothing all right there we go better than nothing again um, some Vogs as well. They're not really great for selling, but they're good for keeping. Because if... Whoa. That guy scared the hell out of me. Um, because grenades in this game, including grenade launchers, are really good. It doesn't matter who you are, you will die, basically, by that. So, having it in your back pocket is actually amazing. Oh, that got done. I, I, I remember. Like, it gave me the pop-up for it and everything. That's great. Also, you probably noticed, but I, I have been experimenting with the encoder and export settings. It does take forever to upload my videos to YouTube, though. It takes, like, I'd say give or take, like, five hours, six hours per upload. I don't know if that's normal. All I know is that's just where I'm at. But yeah, um, so far so alright though. You know, it's not been uh, awful. I think my most recent Freedom video could have had better, uh, better quality just slightly. So I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do. Why is this pin here? I mean, I might as well take that, but I don't know why that pin exists. I'll keep it there actually. You know why? Because... That's uh, that's a stash location now that I can put stuff. Might as well just keep all my stash locations pinned. You know, the penalty doesn't. The penalty is that I just have a pin on my stash. Like who cares? That's sin over there. All right, cool. Let's turn in this main quest. I say main quest, but it's probably just uh. Just like, you know, 
busy work missions that masquerade as a main quest just to give monolith and sin something to do because i don't think they have a story well i also have more uh i think i have more jobs i can accept here can't i let's see basic tools call mutants always accept mutant jobs always always all right well, that's the only job i can accept job is done nice avenge the sinners meet with rabbit 6200 no work now, question, um, would thou be opposed if I were to work for, uh, not work for, but become Sin? I know this is a monolith playthrough, but, you know, I was thinking about it. I'm not going to do it, do it. I'm just saying 206 megahertz. One second. I'm probably going to do these for more loot because they're pretty good. Where's my RF receiver? There it is. Now, what was it again? How do I... I actually don't remember. I... How do... I don't remember how to change the frequency. Hmm. I'm going to look at my key bindings real quick. One sec. Alright, I figured it out. I just need to put my gun away. So, what was it? 206? There we go. Alright, it's 206 in, um... What is it? In Lamansk. But, again, I do want to start selling some stuff. What the hell? That guy sounded like he was dying. Alright, give me a second. So, hold on to my stuff, please. Thank you. Is I need to sell a bunch of the nonsense you're holding on to as well. Plus, give me that, because I forgot I actually have this gun. It's a it's an emergency. It's like a backup, but it still works. Oh, leave me alone. Ah, uh, let's eat some beef toshanka. I want to eventually get, uh tools so I can finally make some weapons because I want to go and actually, you know, fight some people down south-ish. Like army warehouses or something like that, or at least go down there as in disguise and get some work, but right now it's kind of... I'm kind of just running back between the same places. There are some stashes I can loot, though. Plus, I need to go back to Pripyat anyways. But first, oh please, oh god, let these mutants be, uh, not difficult to fight. I beg. So, I don't, uh, I only have 60, 50, and 40, so I can't even repair these. Or clean them. So depending on how difficult these mutants are, I'm probably just, you know, if they're fine, I'll kill them. If they're not, I'm just going to leave. Hi, bud. Huh. I don't see anything yet. I know where I could possibly get a chain artifact, but it is in Cordon. It's one of the spawns that artifacts like are guaranteed to spawn at. It's not really any. I know what it is. It's a fucking bloodsucker, I think. Yep. Okay, well, at least I'm relatively safe. Plus, I have my guy here. Where is it? Got it. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Nice. Okay. That's a chimera.
Well, uh, yeah. So, remember earlier what I said about having two lives for a reason that might be stupid? We will count, uh, hmm. We will count that as one of the reasons that might be stupid. A random chimera that literally just shows up. Made no noise, nothing, hit me once and I'm dead. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Oh god. I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. They already took care of the mercs this time, it seems. Oh, that sucks. Well, I'm just gonna cut the video until this emission blows over. Oh, Yodelin, nice. No reason to, uh... No reason to sit through this one this time. Jesus, man. That's it, we, we have one more life left. Didn't even get a chance to react, just Chimera, out of the blue, one-shots me. The bleed, as soon as it hit me, the bleed killed me. So that, that that's a good example of why I have two lives. That situation right there, to have a second chance. Well, I'll see you after this is over. Alright, emission's over. I do want to say, I'm baffled that that happened. On more, for more than one reason, like, m my follower didn't even notice it. It just seemingly spawned in and hit me. It didn't even, like, give me a chance to even try to fight back. That was, that was insane. That was insane. I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. Well, no, I definitely have. I mean, like, given my current circumstances, it's just ridiculous. Very upset about that one in particular. I was doing fine for the most part, too. It just... It just happened. Couldn't even control it for the most part. Sometimes that shit just happens. Why does it happen? I wish I could tell you. Are you still in here? You are. I need your armor, but I need to put it away again. Where are you? Wait, was he up? What? Where the hell were you? <laughs> Take a few of the things you got. Actually, that's it. No, I'll be fine. And you're in my way, aren't you? This is so annoying. Come on, come down. Take your sweet ass time. Well, that's it. We have one more death. We die, it's over. Playthrough's over. As heartbreaking as it sounds, and and I'm almost like dreading what comes next. That's just that, them's the breaks, as they say. That's just it. That is just it. You're holding some stuff for me. Um, all my mutant 
parts for the most part, yeah. There we go. Alright. Now... Uh... <laughs> let's try not to have that happen again. Oh hey look! A better SPAS 12 this time. That's cool, I guess. Something is better than nothing, and there's more bodies to loot now. I'll take that, I'll take all this. Take the suppressors. Better than nothing, right? Alright, let's go put that stuff back away in the box, and, uh, yeah. So this has a dirty bolt and a bolt carrier. I'm actually gonna take that. I favorited it, didn't I? Uh. All right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, look, better part though. I'll take it. What's the other part? Lever. It's slightly better, but it's not really worth switching out for. You know what? No, it is. Because I don't know when I'm going to be able to fix this up. So, yeah. No, oh, come on. There we go. Again, some better than nothing. All right. What else did I pick up? I'm going to put away. Not much. I'm going to probably sell this mine. Maybe use it, actually. All right, let's just go. Let's do it again. Now, I'm telling you right now, I'm not in the business to die again. Just, just a spoiler. Just a, you know. Expect a blowout soon. One just happened. That was ridiculous. I'm still convinced that was ridiculous. You cannot change my mind on that. It sucks too, because I kind of have to go that way. Why? Because, uh... What's it called? I want... That's how I'm going to get back to Radar and get back to Appropriate. Uh, if not, I'm going to have to go north to Jupiter and then go the other way, but... You know, you don't know what's over there. You don't know who's waiting for me. What factions are ready to kick my ass. So, yeah. And the Sin Boys don't want any of my stuff, but Monolith will, so... So let's go turn in this mission for Sin. Accept the mutant killing job, but just leave and not try to go for it. And then try to go back up north. Still a little blown away by all that. What a fruitless loss of life. I didn't even I didn't even try to like do anything crazy, fight a bunch of people. No, I just uh just a random chimera one shot me. Didn't even didn't even give me a chance. It would have been better if I heard or knew he was coming or something, and my follower didn't even try to attack either. He just kinda <laughs> He just kinda did nothing. Okay, job's done. I got less money this time. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> this time, though, I'm not gonna actually go there. No, I'm actually going to buy some ammo. That I cannot buy. So never mind. Forget I said anything. Army warehouse this time, not Le Mans. Oh, amazing. 
Alright, let's go. What do I have in the stash again? I have a few things. I have my Raptor, of course, with the broken barrel, so I mean, probably not gonna see that anytime soon. Oh, I didn't check the Well, Where's a better one mod, I just realized. Oh, not that. Okay, this is actually not that much better. I do have a battery artifact, but it's not going to be useful anytime soon. I have this, which is actually really good, but I think my uh, other armor I found is better. Ooh, that thing's annoying the shit out of me. Uh, I didn't... I feel like I should be favoriting some of this stuff. Um. Oh yeah, this terrible site <laughs> that ruins my <laughs> FPS for like no fucking reason. Oh my god. All right, nothing really here worth taking. Go check the other stash, then go to Jupiter. I don't want to go that way again. I do not. I actually saved some ammo this time, because I actually didn't shoot at any of the monolith. I mean, the, uh, mercs. I need the better backpack. But I need basic tools, at least. I have enough money where I can basically repair and, in terms of crafting, do whatever I want. That was a legend monolith. I have two stashes here. I have this one and the one at the car trunk. Well, this one has, like, nothing, right? Because the one at the car trunk was, uh... I, I fucking didn't know this one existed, to be honest. Alrighty, then. I didn't know, but you can't actually go see Forrester as a monolith. The door's locked. That's surprising. I didn't expect that. It makes sense, though. Now, let's see. I have a few things here I actually would like, but the problem is, is finding the parts. Like, look, dirty barrel, that's... I can repair that. Problem is, is I don't have any of the other parts, I think. Well, I favorited some of these for for some gun, I, I guess, but I do not have... None of these have a functional barrel. Well, this does, but that's a different type of gun. Hmm. I'm not really seeing anything I could do anything with right now, so yeah. I'll leave that here and I'll go north. Sucks because there's that stash down there too, but I will come there another day. We have not gone to Jupiter yet, so might as well. Now this road, specifically this one right here, is kind of weird because it could actually uh, have other factors. I've seen Clear Sky, I've seen uh, Freedom, I've seen Ecologists on this specific road right here, so I do got to like, you know, keep an eye out up ahead. All right, off we go.
All right. Welcome to Jupiter. Now, it's going to be a kind of a simple visit here. We're not going to be really doing much of anything. We are just going there. That is it. Now, I haven't actually walked into them myself, but rumor has it there are, because, you know, mines, there are mines here. I have ran into the mines in um, generators. They look like sticks popping out of the ground. I don't see any, though. I'm not going to, like, take that as they don't exist. So, I actually do have to be quite careful of this area. Specifically because mutants here are actually kind of a problem. If you get seen by a controller, there is a ton of empty space. Fuck was that? Heard something weird. There's a ton of empty space. A Tushkano? Those are the easiest fucking mutants in the game. They're literally the rats that like run away. We've been ambushed! <laughs> Shut up. You're fine. So now there are monolith and sin here, which is nice, but there's also multiple others uh, here as well. It's predominantly freedom, there's some duty, there's loners, there's ecologists, there's, it's a melting pot, Jupiter's like the melting pot of the north. Zaton is a little bit more focused, it has predominantly a uh, unisig military, um... Loners has a whole loner base. I do got to be careful. There is a bandit camp over there. That's a mutant. I'm gonna gonna go around. I am worried up here though. There's a lot of factions that can give me a problem up here. And as you can see, the lack of cover pretty much anywhere. Wait. No, that's not a mutant. That's a bandit. What the fuck? Alright, well. Yeah. So, like I said, there's a bandit camp over there. That's why I don't want to go that way. Now you're like, well, you know, go fight them. Yeah, I have one life left. And I want to go sell some stuff. Actually, speaking of which, ignore combat. Now, I, I gotta make sure not to go to Zaton, because Homeboy's gonna leave me. Well, it's the north of, like, the tippity-top of Zat Zaton, so... It's actually not. That's a problem. Thanks for the help, bud! You can really use it right now! Really? Really? You shot at the tail end of that situation? I'm trying to use a bandage. What a joke. I almost had that guy, too. Maybe if you helped it all, I would have been fine. Even in the slightest, a level 3 freaking bleed. Oh, I didn't need that last one. Oh my goodness. Do I have anything else but, but Yodelin? Can I make Ibuprofen? I gotta check real quick before I start. No. Alright, Yodelin it is then. Good enough. Well, that sucked. I almost got by that unscathed. Thanks for the help! Really? It really helped there, how you ignored him until he died! <sighs> Let's drink some water to get rid of this dizziness effect. Or at least remedy it a little bit.
getting scary. It is getting scary. Kind of begin lucky so far, honestly. That's really what it's been. If I, if a chimera shows up, I'm probably dead, and I mean that unironically. Like, even maybe a lurker, to a lesser extent, but still. All right, I just gotta hope that um. There's Sin walking around over in the, the factory area. That factory area, by the way, over there? Over there? Probably one of the coolest areas in the game. Like, unironically. I love that area. It's so cool. It's too bad there's, like, nothing in it. Like, nothing. There's some lootables. Some members of Sin. But besides that, there's pretty much nothing in there. I don't, I don't, like, unless Operation Afterglow, the one-story quest I haven't done yet, changes anything, neither Mortal Sin nor Living Legend actually takes you in there at all for anything. Which, it feels like it's a big wasted opportunity, because it's the cool, one of the coolest areas in the game. So I'm a little nervous of the whole gunshots to my left, but... I'm just gonna go. Alright. Okie dokie. Okay, back in home turf. Still not safe though. Any number of mutants could be hanging out here. Oh boy. You know, I don't want to sound like like a bitcher. I guess is the, you know, for lack of a better term. But I truly think that bullshit with the Chimera was exactly that fucking bullshit. I genuinely think it's it was ridiculously fucking stupid. Oh, come on. Thank you. Like, he just showed up. He just truly just spawned in. Like, there's no other way to put it. I don't like that sound. Is there a fucking controller hanging around here? There is. I'm running away. Like, I'm not, I'm not even trying. What the fuck? Any, any day, dude. I'd really appreciate the assistance. Yeah, it's those footsteps. I love this place. It's so cool. Such a cool area. Okay, again, that's you. I'm really nervous. I would love one day to come here, if at all possible, without dying of radiation poisoning. It's, it's an area of just completely frozen in time. You know, I, I saw a video on YouTube. I didn't watch it, but I saw the thumbnail. Basically talking about the phenomena of, like, 
wanting a post-apocalypse. Or, in the specific case of this game, wanting something like the zone. A place where, you know, the whole world isn't fucked up, just one specific part of it is. I'm walking right past where I need to go. <laughs> but it's it's an interesting idea, isn't it? An interesting thought. That, uh... You know, something like this to explore, to adventure in. People just have this, like, innate want, and this innate curiosity for it all. It makes you think. I mean, hey, if the zone really existed, I probably wouldn't go here, honestly. Like, I mean, you'd have the adventure of a lifetime, but dealing with, with crazy fucking mutants and, and like, you know, Sin and Monolith and stuff like that. Like, man, I'm good. I am okay. <laughs> I'd be one of those guys that just, like, sleeps and fucking cordon all day long. And I have nothing. Wait, oh yeah, he has he wants two hands. Everyone wants two hands. I have like friggin' one, don't I? No, that's my freedom character, I think. In fact my mutant parts. I have nothing Ugh, man. Keeper of Secrets in Jupiter. I'll accept it, but I'm probably not going to do it anytime soon. What is that sound that I keep hearing? What is that? Oh, that is right there. That is, that's awesome. The fact that it is literally at the entrance to Lamansk. That's great. All right. Uh, what am I here to do again? Look at my stash or something? Yeah, sell some stuff. Right, right, right. I was like, I came here for a reason. <laughs> I don't like these these voices in my head or whatever the fuck that is. What do I have in here? This stuff that I don't know why I left here. Bunch of stuff. Nothing with a barrel. Hmm. Actually, no, there is. The SVDS. Oh. Ha ha ha. Okay. Problem is, it's 28%, so I'm gonna need a universal weapon cleaning kit for it to be useful at all. Oh, and a one mod? I have every part for this. That is, uh, whoa. I'll just put this away for now, but I have, um, that's the part that goes in my shotgun. Oh, man, if it wasn't. Man. Just look at that damage. Look what you can get from this gun. That's crazy. I need a universal cleaning kit now. I just had to type the. I don't. Didn't I? I think in one of my other stashes, maybe. Do you have one by any chance? I'm gonna take all this shit first of all. Okay. Maybe I can buy one. No, you won't have one. No, you do. Wait. Yeah. Oh shit, give me that. <laughs> what the hell? I could probably do it for the Type B as well. Like my shotgun is what I'm trying to say. Uh, okay, let's sell some stuff. That's uh unexpected upgrade. I completely forgot I was trying to do that. Alright, time to sell a bunch of nonsense. Actually, hold on. Before I do, let me sell this stuff, this stuff down here first. I don't know what this 
these whispers are, but it's kind of annoying the shit out of me. Alright. You have a suppressor. Okay. Well... That is, uh, that's an upgrade. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is, this is an upgrade, man. That's what I like to call an upgrade. Look at that. Why did I, you really put in the two AP rounds. <laughs> Come on, homeboy. All right, now. Um, use this. No, we have two uses. Three. Steel wool. No, that's. Yeah. Use that. Then. Actually, I'll just keep using the Type D. No reason not to, right? Yeah, look at that. This gun is now fully repaired. However, I need to uh, maintain where the trigger mechanism is. It yeah, the trigger mechanism. Ooh, and the barrel. I should have just did that. Whatever. And dirty trigger mechanism. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that's such an upgrade. I just need the ammo for it. Oh, and the bullet velocity is much better. Handling and recoil control and all that is definitely some to be desired, but that it packs a punch. Let me just say that. All right, now I gotta get a Type B. Wait, do I? I have I have a Type B. I don't know what the what the fuck's wrong with me. Um, how much of this? I'm definitely not using that. This may be. Mm, I'll use Swiss knives because I don't want to use these, right? I feel like that's a little unnecessary. Maybe one use of this and then one use of the duct tape would be fine. There we go. 65% is way better than nothing. Alright. Now, my god, the whispering! Sell all this stuff. Five grand. Better than nothing. And you sell the ammo I need. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, now I'm going to put this gun away. And my ammo for it away. So you look, 30, 62... Now, although that is better, this is only 34. It's subsonic as well, though, because it has... So it has great drop. This is going to hit the target basically immediately. Like, it's not going to be an issue. Um... All the other ammo away. Probably might want to clean that, too. Let me Let me spend some of my money, honestly. This guy doesn't have a Type A? Really? Oh, yeah, because he sells one of these, but it's too expensive. I don't, I don't want to buy that. Buy one of these. Use it again. There. 
still has a good chance of jamming because of the parts, but way better than nothing. Let me tell you, way better. Throw uh, these away. Put this part away. Put these away. These are for like repairing armor, so that's why I'm keeping them around. Um, I can't buy a scope, can I? Do you have any scopes? You're the mechanic. Why am I talking to you? No, you're only level one, so you wouldn't anyways. This should be good enough for now. I mean, I don't have to use this, but it's way better than, you know, the other thing. I wish I had a scope, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, am I right? So, yeah, that's a that's a great upgrade, that is VDS. Retribution Model 2. That's, that's really good. Um, anything you have on that I want to put away? good some stuff definitely the slime where did that go whatever let me just put all this away um, all this ammo yeah, the rest you can keep on you I think I don't need as much of that. It's unnecessary. Still heavy. Still a little heavy. Would I pick up? Probably the five rope. I'll give that all to him, honestly. Disassemble. Put that away. All oh, right. Also, uh, that now. Hold the rope. Hold that too. Hold the jars. I keep the syringes. Hold this stuff. I don't know why. I keep complaining about it. I know, but I really don't know why this nonsense is in my ears right now. No tools, so keep that stuff put away for now. No reason to carry all of it. I'm going to favorite this, actually, so I don't keep accidentally trying to put it away. My god. All right, um, I think it's time to go back down south again. Actually, I just got to remember the parts in this gun, because I could potentially be holding parts for like a new gun, for example. Oh, what did I need for that spouse again? You know, just to... Oh, a mission happening. Just to uh, be safe, I'm going to carry my functional parts on me. I'm also going to cut out this mission because I've already spent, uh, I think, too long here, so... Yeah. No need to bore you with... Sitting through the entire mission or size storm, I, I didn't I didn't check what it was. So yeah. So you own a little bit.
All right, side storm's over. I like side storms more because it's less. Uh, what the hell? It's less loud and uh, it, it's over quicker. All right, bud, let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna get some of that ammo that uh, I left down south as well at like Red Forest, but might as well just uh, follow the guide and go there. I mean. Ah, uh, there's a stash. I guess I'll give it a shot. Go to outskirts. So I got a nice and clean shotgun now. A few damaged parts, but that's fine. got my SVDS with an okay amount of ammo. I mean, it shouldn't be taking too many bullets to kill things, so I'm not really all that worried about it. I would like a uh, ammo making kit though eventually. Should mainly have my shotgun out. As soon as I say something, am I right? But look at that nonsense. You didn't start attacking until I killed it again. This guy is full of shit. This guy is literally full of shit, dude. He's like pretending to help me. What a fucking jester. Welcome to outskirts. I gotta be careful though, this is uh, actually a genuinely scary area because this is where all different factions coagulate. Especially Unisig, fuck that faction. I don't think I can fight Unisig right now. All of them got fucking exosuits on and crazy gear for goddamn no reason. Well, yeah, I know the reason, but still. Doesn't change, uh, doesn't change the fact that they're armed to the teeth. I remember I actually started as a monolith like just a normal game and I started off with like the 9mm SMG, don't ask why, I thought it was a great idea. It took me like 15 headshots to kill a unisig and then another one just killed me right away. It was insane, like he was just crouching next to me and he wouldn't attack me and I just kept unloading into his head like single fire and he, that, he just took that many shots. It was like such a waste of time. With this gun, especially with like AP ammo, well, yeah, I mean, I have uh, the 7 and 14 rounds as well, but this gun does good damage. So against like lesser armored foes, I'll be okay. And against higher armored foes, I do have the slightly better 7 and 14. I only have two AP though, so that's like my ultimate, like last ditch effort. Like, I either use these two shots to an advantage or I just die. So, coming here also has its merits, I can accept, uh, hopefully, some more work. But working for Sin in Red Forest seems to be the way right now. I'm just gonna accept this, but that's another one I'm not entirely convinced on. <laughs> it's got a headlamp now, that's good. That's nice. 
Even after my recent purchases, I'm still at like 60 grand. I'm making good money. More money than I was making with, uh... Frank Freedom. The difference is, is that I'm, you know, I'm all constantly able to do... It's, it's a different experience. It's not comparable. I'm not even going to try to compare it. I've come to see you. Jupiter, fuck off. Oh yeah, you're a guide. I forgot you're a travel guide. Twelve grand for one of these. I'd rather just craft it. Buy some more ammo. Ten grand is honestly worth it for 30 rounds. Not even gonna lie. Um Yeah, I think. Alright, I think that's good. So you look, I have plenty of ammo now. A trainee. Type A cleaning kit. I mean, I might as well spend the money I have. I'm, I have a good amount of money and not too much to, like, use it on. So I might as well just spend it while I have it. Um, do I even want to use a bonus? I think I just want to spam repair it, don't I? If I'm being honest. Yeah, why not? Fuck it, I don't care. There we go. Now this pistol is fully good too. So I do have a backup option. There we are. I don't know, I was being too frugal with my money, I think was the problem. Does the workshop even count as a... No, it doesn't count as basic tools anymore. It used to, I think. Yeah, it doesn't. That's crazy. I need two more dirt to even make this backpack. Well. Anyways, I still have to turn in those, uh... That meat. Guys up on the friggin' top floor? My god. Look at this nonsense. Not even worth going to see him at this point. Like a gauntlet. I mean, it's supposed to be because this is where you come for Living Legend. But still. You know what? I'll come. You know, he could give me a stash, right? Uh. Oh man. He, he could. He could give me a stash. <whistles> yep. In Jupiter. About a thousand rubles. Oh, at the north end of Jupiter near Zaton. Come on, man. I'm gonna go at least loot this stash. Oh, really? I was gonna jump that, I'm not even gonna try. Knowing me, it won't work. <laughs> Knowing my luck, it's just gonna say, no, try again. No, I'm just, I'm not, I'm just gonna play it safe, my god. This place is fucking precarious. Like, my god. I have some batteries. It's not that big of a deal if my headlamp runs out. Okay, gonna regenerate some stamina here. Dude, that bloodsucker in Jupiter, I can't believe I almost killed him in, like, the last shot he hits me. Like, come on, come on. 
is getting a little late though in game, so antithesis of real life, it's actually really early in the morning where I am at 6.50 a.m. Probably like, wow, you woke up early. Nah, I stayed up all night, man. I'm basically a vampire at this point. Regen some stamina. Stamina. I feel like I put an N at the end of that word by accident. You know, if you watch my Freedom playthrough, you'd know how absolutely horrifying these things actually are. I hear gunshots. Oh, it's in the building? Oh, man. That's scary as hell. Almost just walked right into that too. Well, not like right into it, but might as well. I think in, well, in Call Appropriate, you come here to help I forget who it was. You helped someone out here. Where is it? There it is. Oh! Look at that! That's really good, actually. Good thing I came here. Wow, plus 27 kilograms. What in the goddamn? It's not bad. Over the other armors I have are better, so. No, thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. Let's get out of here. I don't know who's fighting over there. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really care. So, bro, what are we doing? Well, I mean, there's only one way to leave back through appropriate and then I'm probably gonna go to radar and uh, go back to do I want to go back to okay no time to be lounging about actually let's move do I want to go back to radar is my question because it means I have to start at the other end of red forest and that's where that chimera was it might actually be in my best interest to go back to Jupiter we'll see I still need tools my fucking yellow stash in Lamansk had a drug making kit. It could have had advanced expert tools even, and it had a drug making kit. I don't even have enough supplies right now to make good use out of it. My first expert tools I got, I got a uh, yellow stash in um, Deserted Hospital. And I'm not going to lie, the place was empty. I think there was a grand total of one, like, trainee monolith. But no, like, it was a yellow stash in Deserted Hospital. I got expert tools, my first expert tools. And there was just no one there to stop me. Still don't know how, like, why. I mean, when I followed the quest lines, I it was basically a shooting gallery. But when I went there just on my own, it was, uh... It was perfectly safe. So who knows? I don't. All I know is that I lost a life and I have a new gun. You gotta look. You gotta look at the the pros and all the cons, right? Like I got three guns that are good condition. We're schmoving. We're cruising. We're doing our thing. That 
That's water, isn't it? That looks like a water canteen. You bet it is. Look at that. Wow. More gunshots over here. Renegades. Oh wait, is this where? Let me check my map real quick. I'm gonna tentatively. can't see anything. Fire at will, bud. We're going in. What? the world's biggest exo walking around yeah you know what we get up but... well I didn't do anything but sorry I was quiet that whole time I was just holding my breath basically You gotta be a, uh, a grave robber, basically, in this, uh, in this, like, uh, game setting. I mean, look at the stuff, you know what I mean? Like, it pays for itself. Look at all that I just got from that. Out of my way. Oh, I'm getting tired. Hey, look at this guy walking around like my God. Nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna keep myself awake for a little bit longer with the coffee. Eh, do I really need to? I don't think so. Doctor's sausage. Come on, man. Let's go. I was hanging back, he friggin' playing with himself. Oh, there he goes. Alrighty then. Oh, I'm just thinking. Just thinking about what my game plan is. I'm probably going to call it uh at the fire up here gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode but you know feeling a little bit uh still a little bit sore about the death you know how it is so With that said at this fire i'm going to uh I'm gonna light it. I'm gonna quick save. Uh, 
Oh, son of a bitch. Well, that was scary. <laughs> Anyways, I said I was gonna quick save. Can I sleep here? This, this is good. This is fine. I can. I'm gonna sleep until six. And then we're gonna call it. Just so next time we can leave off just fully, fully ready for the day ahead of us. There we go. Drink some water. There we go. All right. So to recap, we got killed. But we also got a good amount of stuff. We fixed up an SVD and got a good amount of ammo for it. Look at that. We fixed. We cleaned up our Taws. We cleaned up our FNX. We have a good amount of weapons now. And now, what's the game plan? Probably, I'm going to. Nah, screw that. I'm probably gonna head back to Jupiter. Try to go here. Take the... Get the stash. Go to Lamansk. Go back to Red Forest. See what Sin has for me. But first, next time, I'm just gonna collect some jobs from the monolith. And then do all that. But that's gonna be my route for next time. And hopefully, I don't suffer my second death. So with that said, thank you all for watching, everybody. Stay tuned in for next time. And peace out. Bye-bye.